Welcome to Carecen. Bienvenidos a Carecen. Since 1981, Carecen has fostered the comprehensive development of the Latino population in the Washington, D.C. region by providing direct legal services, housing counseling, citizenship education, and community economic development while promoting grassroots empowerment, civic education, and civil rights advocacy. Carecen was originally founded to protect the rights of refugees from conflict in Central America and provide direct legal services that would ease their transition. The Central American Research Center, CARESEN, was created not by chance. It was a very intentional act of several individuals that thought that there were many Central Americans, many Salvadorans that were coming to the United States because of the situation in the country. Many people were persecuted, a lot of human rights violations, and they needed protections here. And when they arrived, uh, luckily enough, in 1980, the United States adopted the UN resolutions on refugees, and therefore that gave the chance to Salvadorans, Nicaraguans, Guatemalans to apply for political asylum. And that was the concept for the creation of Carecen to help those individuals coming to the U.S., fleeing from persecution from a war-torn country, and find the protection that they needed here. If you break the history of Carecen by decades, you will see that during the 80s, Carecen was strongly advocating for uh, uh, the recognition of refugee status for Salvadorans, Guatemalans, and other Central Americans. It was also fighting hard to get peace settlements in the countries and also um, to help the establishment development of the community here. By the 90s, you see a different Carecen after the peace settlement in El Salvador. You see people that had at least five to 10 years in this country were ready to establish roots. After the 90s, you see Carecen involved in housing issues. You see Carecen working with uh, more in the area of citizenship. And you have Carecen uh, joining different commissions and um, coalitions to make sure that the issues related to Latinos and Central Americans included were present in any deliberation and um, discussion. Carecen's Immigration Legal Services Program defends the legal rights of Central Americans and other Latinos residing in the D.C. metropolitan area by providing quality, low or no cost bilingual services including legal counseling and assistance in applying for a variety of immigration benefits under existing laws. Annually, our legal staff provides direct services to more than 3,000 community members looking for assistance in applying for U.S. citizenship, renewal of employment authorization documents, and obtaining and maintaining temporary protected status. We help people to reunite with their families we help them to rightfully stay in this country and we help them to take a step towards citizenship and ultimately in achieving the American dream. Yo vine a, a esta oficina de Carecen a pedir una ayuda a, porque yo tengo mis hijas en Honduras y yo que quiero traerlas. Me metió las aplicaciones de la visa U eh, y sí, ellas ya están por venir y me han ayudado bastante. Yo le agradezco mucho al personal de Carecen que sí apoyan bastante. The main goal of the citizenship program is to increase the number of Latino U.S. citizens and their participation in our country's democracy. Carecen accompanies candidates through the entire naturalization process and beyond, from becoming a legal permanent resident to obtaining U.S. citizenship, while also encouraging civic participation as a tool for empowerment. Carecen holds quarterly workshops to inform people about the process of becoming a U.S. citizen and assist those eligible in filing their application for naturalization to the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. During the workshop, Immigration attorneys are present to review application and answer questions. Carecen offers quarterly 10-week citizenship classes to prepare eligible individuals for the naturalization exam. The classes cover the knowledge of history and government necessary to answer the 100 civics questions and teach English vocabulary and phrases used in the exam. 
At the culmination of the 10-week period, the students are evaluated through a mock citizenship interview. Why do you want to be a U.S. citizen? For many reasons. <laughs> One is because I want to vote. I want to have a, um, better opportunities mm -hmm. in this country. Um, okay. I like here America, in America. The ESL classes complement the civics classes by providing practice in oral, written, and reading English in order to enable candidates to pass the English portion of the exam. Class activities include conversation practice with outside groups of volunteers who come every other week to talk to our students and help them improve their oral comprehension and speaking skills. As the exam date nears, Kardeshan offers individual tutoring to those who need intensive practice before their interview. It's just the best feeling when you you know, you're, you're sitting here waiting for class to start and one of your former students comes in and is to tell you, I did it, I passed the test, I'm a citizen now, thank you so much. I love the people that I work with here in Karesin. The people in my classes, they're amazing and they're so dedicated. I, res I received my class in Karesin and that has helped me for my exam. I invite many people for come here for my citizen because we need help other people for the reforma migratoria. This is my certificate of citizenship. Thank you. Caresin's housing program aims to improve living conditions as well as increase access to affordable housing and home ownership among low and moderate income Latinos. In 2000, Caresin established its housing program in response to a severe housing crisis that sparked when D.C. government moved to condemn 32 squalid and neglected buildings located in Ward 1. As a result, hundreds of low-income Latino families faced the threat of displacement without affordable housing alternatives. Since then, the housing department has been providing counseling to individuals and tenant associations on tenant rights, as well as home ownership, foreclosure prevention, and financial literacy. We're here to let families know that they do have rights. Working with tenants, there's a constant issue of substandard living conditions and we work with the tenants and tenant associations to help them address this and find solutions. We're at the forefront of helping families avoid foreclosure, even when they may think that there is no hope and that it's too late. It's not. We can help them see what their options are and help them save their home. El problema fue que los trabajos bajaron y nos llegaron los impuestos de la casa, los taxes, y no podíamos pagar la mensualidad de la casa. Y entonces, cuando empezaron a llegar los papeles del banco, decidí buscar a Cares. Anabel me ayudó. Luchamos y hasta el final y aquí estoy y salvamos la casa, gracias a Dios logramos la modificación y, y sí, estoy contenta con la ayuda que me brindaron acá. The goal of the Community Support Services Program is to promote the well-being of Latinos in the Washington, D.C. area who are limited English speakers by providing community members with key tools in the form of education, basic assistance, and appropriate referrals for them to overcome problems relating to employment, taxes, consumer issues, health care, and access to government services, among other topics. The program also offers translation and interpretation services. Caresing is now a 30-year-old organization, and we want to keep the ability to serve older residents, new residents, and to change as the community changes. Also, Caresing is interested in being that voice that Latinos need in front of local governments and um, public elected officials so Latinos as taxpayers can get their fair share. Me llamo Meli de Godoy Cepeda, soy de Guatemala. Mi nombre es Napoleón del Cid y soy del país de El Salvador. Mi nombre es Dominga Sánchez y soy de la República Dominicana. Mi nombre es Hidro Bustamante y soy mexicano. Eh, mi nombre es Luz López y soy de Medellín, Colombia. Me llamo Ahmed Basilio Sánchez, soy de Perú.